All right, you gangster, you gangster, you gangster. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening to my beautiful people, you guys. I'm so excited to be doing this video. Um, it would be about my course careers experience. This will be my review. And all I'm gonna say is wow, wow, wow. Like when I say my mind is so blown, my mind is so blown. Okay, so I'm gonna take y'all back a little bit um, and tell you guys like my background and my story, how I found course careers and everything. So let's go back. I actually do have experience in IT and I would get into a little bit on why I pivot into tech sales. Um, and I also do have um, eight years of experience in sales. I will tell y'all all about it. So um, I have six years of experience working in desktop support. Desktop support in IT is more so labor type of job. I'm gonna tell y'all this, um, it's not a lot of women in desktop support, okay? I was like the only woman on the team and it's a very dirty job. You're like pushing, pulling, you're under tables, you're getting dusty, you're ripping your clothes. It's that type of job. Um, I decided to leave that position in July of 2021 because I'm just going to be super transparent giving you guys my review and my story but I was diagnosed with a chronic disease called juvenile type 1 diabetes so I literally am dependent on an insulin pump an insulin to live and it was crazy I love technology I love serving I love our users and just being there and just just helping I love it so much but it was like wear and tear on my body um but I did it for six years I actually live in the DC Maryland Virginia area um, but where I live in Maryland it's about an hour away from my job so it would literally take me like an hour and 15 or an hour and 30 just to commute to work so that was like wear and tear a little bit um, and also my mentality was work comes first, health comes second because I felt like I needed to, sh to prove myself, you know, one being black, two being a black woman and being in like a male dominated field. I thought I had to, you know, do some things just to, you know, stand out a little bit. So anyways, long story short, July 2021, I ended up leaving because my health was so bad, felt like I was on my deathbed literally it was really really bad i had to make a change it was really bad and so i decided to start a business now the business that i started i've been trading in the stock market for over eight years probably like eight years now um and i decided to mentor other people and teach them how to trade in the stock market that's literally how i paid my bills right all right well like i said we pivot once because of my health into full-time entrepreneur and we had to pivot again now the, the second time i had to pivot it was because of a business that i started everybody knows about airbnb and how hot the business was and all of that and i decided to take a chance and i, I opened about eight properties in my area um eight um airbnbs in my area and as soon as i was doing so so good and no problems or anything <sighs> the regulations change in my county so it literally banned airbnb in my area so i was left with five properties i had to pay for five properties and the debt associated to it not only that i have a mortgage and i had a brand new car at the time that I was paying for let me just tell y'all that was the most stressful time of my entire life so i'm sitting there like i how did i go from making i'm going to be super transparent i told you guys i'm going to be super transparent tell you guys my story how am i going to go from three hundred thousand dollars that i made to like scary like like i need some nickels and dimes because we gotta go hit this grocery store and get some coins because this money that's in this bank is going to those bills like i was so scared of 
uh, mispayments on credit cards or mispayments on loans or mispayments on like rent payments, all that stuff. I was terrified. So it was like, I was grinding at the same time. Money was coming in, but money was going out just as fast. So I was literally stuck. I was like, Lord, what do I do? And I've always wanted to like get into tech, get back into tech, but it had to be remote. There was no way that I was traveling an hour and a half back to the DC area to work in the city because nobody's in this area hiring for tech. And I just said it had to be remote or something and I would do it. Like I love tech. I have a very deep passion for tech. I mean, I've been very obsessed with tech since I was 10 years old, I was probably nine, when I would call Dale and watch them troubleshoot the computer and just have my little pencil writing the steps down. Like I've always been so obsessed, which is cool, but I'm just like, I, I can't do that anymore. Like I cannot, I will literally be on my deathbed again and it might be worse this time. Anyways, fast forward, my mom ends up telling me about course careers but this was this was three months before I found out about course careers and she's like Paris this is something you could do like you could do this it's remote and just just telling me all of this stuff about tech but in my mind I was so turned off I was like I'm not going back because I, I'm thinking yes yeah, that's remote I'm like haha yeah remote like I wasn't taking her serious at all then I came across a podcast. Everybody probably came across this podcast. Um, AO, his podcast, and he had Cyrus on there talking about tech sales. And when I was listening to the podcast, I said, wait a minute now. I have experience in tech and I also have experience in sales. I didn't tell you guys that, but I do have eight years of experience in sales. Do not feel like you have to have experience in tech or in sales to get a tech sales job. Literally all the directors that I talked to in my interview, they all say, well, we just hire people outside, you know, right out of college. They all say the same thing. And I'm also going to put this side note, people that work at the company that I work at, none of them worked in tech. They all work from all over the place. Some work in retail, some work. Anyway, let's continue. So I came across the podcast and I'm like, I could probably do this. So I called my mama, I called my mama, I said, mama, I just saw this podcast on AO talking about tech sales. And um, she was like, well, yeah, Paris, I've been telling you that. I told you that three months ago. And I was like, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is what you was telling me? Oh, I felt so uh, annoyed because I'm like, I could have been out of this annoying situation. Like, I felt like I was suffocating. Crazy. But anyways, so I looked at the price and everything and it was $500. But, you know, I had a discount code. Just to let you guys know, I am an affiliate of Course Career. So if you are interested in... Uh, taking the course. I have the coupon code. The link is in the description. Um, they allow payment plans and they allow just like one payment of $450. When I say $450, I looked at, I said $450, but I can get a, 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 a remote position and make 60, 70 K. I said, let me go ahead and sign up. So I looked at my little bank account, my little piggy bank. It wasn't much. I ain't lying. I literally used my last $100 that was allowed for me to spend because everything else was in my bank for debt and bills and business. Not failure, but debt. And so I literally took my $100 and I said, Lord, Lord, I am going to give it my all. I'm like, this $100 like this is it. I'm about to be sitting in, in the house for the next couple of weeks because this is my last hundred dollars. So I went ahead, I paid for it. I did a payment plan because literally I had my last hundred dollars to my name, which is crazy. 300000 to absolutely nothing really. I just keep thinking, thinking about that. It just blows my mind. But anyways, sometimes you have to help God help you. Like sometimes you have to step out on faith and allow him to meet you in the valley. 
I need y'all to put that in the comments. Help God help you. And I felt like in that moment, I had to really allow God to help me. All right, y'all, listen. We got cut. Woo! Just having, having a moment of gratitude. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I'm sorry. We just, I told y'all it's going to be transparent. Woo! I didn't know that I was going to cry. Whew. You just have to just take a bat on yourself. Like, it was three whole months had passed. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. I was just grinding, stuck. But if you just literally just take a bet on yourself and just try it, I promise you, all you have to do is try. All right, get it together, P. All right, y'all. F it. We're just going to be teary out the rest of the daggone video. Here we go. It is what it is. Transparent. Here we go. Anyways, let's see. Where were we? Did I talk about... Okay, anyway, so I used my last hundred dollars. I'm in the course, and so week one, I started December 18th of 2022, and I was like, all right, it's almost Christmas. Y'all, on Christmas, I was literally studying, reading the books, going through the course, writing, writing my notes. It was crazy. Crazy as heck. There was no Christmas dinner for me. There was no opening gifts with the family. It was literally grinding it out in the course. So then the second week, I think it was like New Year's or something like that. And I was like, oh, wow, it's New Year's Eve. I ended up applying to over 80 positions. I had a, um, a spreadsheet where I had a little over 80 companies that I literally put in a spreadsheet and I was like checking them all off like yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, that, that type of thing. Interview, pending, you know, all of that. Yes, I talked to the recruiter, like all of that. I was like reaching out to people in the course. Um, they're going to talk about like reaching out like to directors and all that we're not gonna i'm not gonna talk about it or anything but just know that in the course they tell you literally exactly what to do to get a job and it's freaking crazy like oh my god i remember i had reached out to one person building up my linkedin and he was like hey wow i'm so impressed with your outreach and that's one like key like uh i guess um i don't know something amazing to have quality to have if you're working in sdr tech sales and he was like wow your outreach is like amazing um like yeah let's get on the call and talk about the job it was a director and i actually did the interview and went all the way with the interview and um i had about five or six companies reach out all at one time one it was two um account executive i was so scared i said no i can't do it like the account executive position although i have a little experience like uh, in sales i wasn't ready for that so i was like no 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 i had to turn those down baby i was scared but so then i had like three other sdr um interviews and when i say oh my god I come from a world of Fortune 500 companies, like super corporate and, you know, you have to watch how you wear your hair. I couldn't wear my curls. I had to slick it back or wear it straight, like that type of world. Um, so working in a tech startup is like so relaxing. Like I can put my hair down, like I can relax my shoulders, like I just feel so good. And like every company that I interviewed with, even the directors that i spoke to and all of that it was just like a conversation like the company that i am currently working at um me and the manager we were just like kiki and like laughing like had the best time like the interviews were so fun um but however in the course he teaches you like you know some interviewing questions and your answers and how to tie in your experience that kind of go like aligns well with the position and the you know all of that stuff so literally they would ask me a question and i'm like what the what the course say what the course say and i had my response and it was i was killing it i killed all my interviews you know it was it was great 
I made it to the final round with all of them, which was incredible. And I still have people reaching out, uh, requesting interviews, which is so crazy because it's been about mm, a month now. This week makes two weeks of working in my uh, role as an SDR. Um, I told you guys I'm going to be super transparent. I don't care. Um, my OTE is 75000 which is amazing. That's more than what I've made at my prior IT job. So this is awesome. All the commission is uncapped. So even if I go to 75000 it doubles. Like commission doubles. Not only does it is it uncapped so I can go to 100000 plus, it doubles. So we have that. It's fully remote. Uh, so flexible so I can literally like take care of my health like if I'm having a bad morning or I'm a little slow you know trying to feel better or whatever or something happens I don't know I can take my time and I can make sure I'm eating the proper foods and making sure you know everything is you know going well um, exercising and all that stuff I can literally like exercise in between my phone calls like it's so lit I love it um also the benefits are amazing i have equity in the company and the company will soon be going public so that is so so awesome because y'all know that i am obsessed with the stock market and i'm just so happy because i have course careers like i have the knowledge of course careers and now that i am an affiliate of course careers i am telling my mentees i am telling all my students and a lot of them have a struggle where they want to invest in the stock market. They want to trade in the stock market. They want to build a long-term portfolio in the stock market, but they have dead-end jobs. They have jobs where they're making minimum wage, jobs where literally they, you know, uh, I would say paycheck to paycheck. Like, so me just like sharing the information with them my mentees are just so much happier and they are so excited for their new journey and i am excited because i'm there for them not only am i there for them in the stock world but i'm also coaching them on resumes and um how to conduct yourself in an interview we do like mock interviews y'all it's lit it's so fun like we could do like little one-on-one -on -one interviews and all of that so just keep in mind, once you are in course careers, feel free to come back to me. Yep, my LinkedIn is in the description. Feel free to send me messages. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. Um, if you are interested in signing up for course careers, it is in the description. And there's a, a, a code to get $50 off. And y'all, $450 was $450. You about to be making big money, big money, big money, big money. And if you want to learn how to put your tech money into the stock market and make some more money, holla at your girl. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Got me snap booger nose crying over here. You know what? That's all I'm going to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be so many more videos to come on here. Again, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. Paris Smith. Um, all of the links will be in the description. And um, I look forward to building a connection with all of you guys and being your servant. And have a good one.